So you clicked on this link because you want to know if the Colorado Springs area is dog friendly. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Lori and Kayleen with your Colorado Finest here in Colorado. If it's your first time to our channel, reach out, give us a call or text anytime. We help people make the move all the time here to Colorado Springs. Absolutely love it. 719-639-3393. It's us that you get, fortunately or unfortunately, however <laughs> how you view it. Um, you know, make sure if it's your first time to our channel, also make sure you hit the subscribe button or the bell as we have a lot of fun things planned all about our city in 2023 and beyond. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. So today we're gonna actually, the fun part is gonna be, we're gonna break this up and show you some clips of our favorite places to bring our dogs here in Colorado Springs. I would say the thing about Colorado that's great is Colorado Springs is dog friendly and beer friendly. So I think they <laughs> kind of go together a lot. There's tons of breweries, outdoor patios that you can bring your little furry friends and they can also enjoy the Colorado lifestyle. So I would say there are pros and cons of raising your furry friends here in Colorado Springs. I'm gonna maybe point out a couple things, not, I mean, they're just things you have to deal with. Like your dogs coming in and out of the house this time of year with muddy paws, those types of things. But I would say Colorado in general, great place to have animals. Um, you will see people out and about taking their dogs um, on walks and uh, to restaurants, breweries, yep. um, all Hikes, over. Trails, yeah. So. I would say, so like we're gonna show you, Kayleen's gonna show you places that she, brings her dog and I'm going to show you some places that we bring our dog or just that I experience dogs every day and what that looks like behind this is the Wolf Ranch Dog Park um, so there's no dogs in it right now I think they're all taking a nap there's quite a few dog parks around like there's Cimarron Hills the one by my house Wolf is Ram Ranch Park is, over by Rampart there's a couple crazy. on the west side um, but there are lots of places <laughs> we were just at a listing um, that's coming soon and they put their they bring their dog to doggy daycare there's actually a lot of doggy hotels doggy daycares for um, you know if you do that for your dogs there are a ton of facilities all around the Colorado Springs area I will say whenever we vacation it's really hard to find uh, room in some of the, it's like yeah. low vacancy and I will say if you're coming here and you wanting a short-term rental or a rental um, oh, yes. if you have a pet if you have one pet you might be okay depending upon weight if you have multiple pets it's really hard to short-term lease or midterm or even a long-term lease depending upon the number of pets you have so just keep that in mind uh, if you're thinking about um, you know that renting option with a dog obviously if you own your own home you can do what you want I will say that I do think Colorado's great for having a pet is because there's not really don't have extreme weather so there's not many days where I don't think I can leave my dog outside or they can go outside um, you know in the summertime if it's hot there's usually shade we're dry um, highs maybe up mid 90s a few weeks out of the year but for the most part in the summer we're in the 70s and 80s um, in the shade with some water great for a dog to be outside and in the winter time like today is what is it today 40 ish I mean, yeah, it's like 30 ish fine like for them there are though like it kind of depends on the size of your animal yeah, maybe too not the well that's a, i have a big one well a oh, you have a 35 teeny. 38 pound dog and then i also have a five pound dog and so my little one i do have to baby him because he the even weather like this it he's so small that he can't keep enough body heat so I have to put like a little sweater on him yeah. or something um one thing that drives me nuts this time of year if you can see behind the grass is still kind of dormant and so with that like they'll go out and about they'll run throughout the backyard it kind of tears up the grass right now because it's dead it's dormant it 
dormant and then they come in and so my bigger dog who rolls all over in the grass I stand outside and brush him off to get that dead grass otherwise I am doing my floors two times a day just trying to keep the the grass out of the house right. then we'll go into muddy season where we'll get some rain and that's when things start to green up but I you know a lot of people have those little doggy wipes that they keep at their back door or even just like an old towel because you do otherwise you'll um have little paw prints all over which some people are fine with or if you have carpets or anything you know you might just yeah. want to make sure and just to protect if if you're one to you know I like to keep my floors as clean as possible and so I just like to wipe their feet off. So those little doggy wipes come in handy. So we're gonna go out and show you some really cute clips of dogs because Kaylee and I could talk about dogs for a while, <laughs> but really what you wanna oh, see is the dogs in Colorado Springs. Let's treat them. One of our first ads that we had oh, on yeah. social so media, it was her dog. little puppy in a, we painted this little dog house okay. and we filmed him. He was finding his new home. I have to find um, it. I have it. I know where it's at, oh, but okay. we'll show you all sorts of cute, friendly dogs around the Colorado Springs area and maybe show you, I'm gonna tell you about a couple services that I use for my dogs um, that Colorado Springs kind of makes easy. So if you are thinking moving here, have a dog, want to buy a house, let us know, reach out. We can put you in, you know, if you want to buy a town home, sometimes there's regulations against having different breeds different breeds different sizes and number of pets or you know if you want a certain fencing like we talked about in one of our videos that could be a factor or do you want to be close to a dog park or the trails you maybe have a really active dog we help um, we can help you sort that situation out but for now let's go take a look at some dog parks give us a call or text anytime 719-639-3393 We talk about pets and outdoor Colorado life for the dogs as well. This is Rampart Park. You can see a baseball game is going on. And then this over here is a dog park that overlooks Pikes Peak. And you can see a lot of the furry friends that are out there right now enjoying the weather, enjoying the Colorado views here in Colorado Springs. So a lot of furry friends enjoying Hi Colorado Springs. I just found my new dream home. Lori and Kayleen helped me sell my current home and upgrade to my new pad. Whether you are looking for a view, more or less space, or need to find out how much equity you have in your current home, Lori and Kayleen, your Colorado Realtors, can help. All right, are you ready to go show them what it's like to be a Colorado dog? You wanna go out for a walk, Ellie, and show them what it's like? All right, let's go, come on. Let's go show what it's like to be a Colorado dog. Come on. Come on, let's go show them what it's like to be a Colorado dog. Over here. Let's go show them the mountains and all your friends out there in Colorado. Ellie, come here. Are you ready to go see? Let's go. So living in Colorado with dogs, one of the most popular things to do is to bring your dog to a brewery. So we're going to take a look at what that looks like. There's one here close to where I live called uh, Lost Friends Brewery. So it's all about how they help place dogs that don't have a home and that may be lost. And so people bring their dogs here all the time. You'll find these throughout all of Colorado, not only Colorado Springs, uh, just part of the Colorado lifestyle. So let's go take a look. <music> Thank you. 